Since I lost everything, my dreams have been pitch black. I felt like a castaway floating in the void. Earth is on the verge of destruction. There was some mysterious calamity and more than half the population died. The survivors eke out a meager existence in the few remaining habitable territories. I can't remember when I started to hear the voices in my dreams. They kept promising me a way to save my planet, to save my home. <laughs> when you're desperate, you truly hold on to anything. Are you all right? Yeah, that was close. Are you sure the Blue Jackets won't patrol this area? These buildings could collapse any moment now. They won't follow us. Believe Aunt Avril. Let's go. We are near. I can feel it. That's the place. Let's find a way to get to it without breaking our necks. I don't know, Ave. Follow me and be quiet. Do you think we'll make it home by nightfall? Boring! Seriously, Ave. Yeah. Sorry. How is your mom? Dr. Bateman is treating her. She'll be okay, but my father? I don't know. And it's blocked. Oh, perfect. Let's go home then. Come on, there's a second entrance near here. Avril. Pretend it's just a trip. Follow me. Look, the loose grip live at the tube four years ago. God, I miss live music. Yesterday, Rabbit Thomas told me that he found a working electric guitar in District 13. Rabbit found a guitar? That scavenger. Man, I wish I could find a drum kit. I could sing! Me, you, and Rabbit. Could you imagine? We could be like the only band in all of England? Exactly. Climbing the charts won't be so hard now that only a third of the population survived the end of the world. That's a creepy thing to say. You know me. My glass is half full. Well, a third full. Do you remember the time we shushed those brats so hard the usher kicked us out? Oh, yes! It was during the Burning Streets premiere. Damn, I miss those days. Me too. Let's go. I don't want to be here when this place finally decides to collapse. We're almost there! Slowpoke, this is the spot. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done. No, Mila. This is the dumbest thing we have ever done yet. Wow. 
Why the hell do you have to be so reckless? Because I have something called faith. You should try it sometime. Ave, are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I guess. Wait, this place is... the strength to recover what was lost, but never forgotten. My name is Moon. Through my wisdom and love, may you leave your mountains and to the star. sudden. That was just a glimpse of what you'll become, thanks to our enlightened guidance, my dear child. Whoa! You guys are real. Are, are you talking to me through my mind? A and what is this place? Am I still in London? Have no fear, my beloved. From now on, we will always be by your side to guide you through your mission. Okay. This can't be real. Mila, if you can hear me, give me a big slap and wake me up. Your friend is not here, champion. But don't worry. You will be able to talk to her soon. For now, just focus on learning about your new powers. Your soul is still dazed by the communion with us. In order to restore your weapons, you need to find a fountain of fortitude. A magical fountain. I'm sure there are plenty of them in London. Concentrate and follow the soul fireflies that are connected with your spirit. They'll show you the way. So those dreams were true. Ah, I knew it! Take that, Mila. I could really save Earth, although I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do it. Concentrate, champion. Follow the fireflies and reach the fountain. Right. So, do I drink from it? Or do I have to sing some kind of mumbo-jumbo spell? I have to warn you, I'm pretty terrible at singing. Just listen to the echo of the countless souls that flow through it. Don't worry. It will come naturally. There goes nothing. This is so cool. But, um, how do I use this, exactly? The artifact that you hold is our precious gift. It contains all the memories of your predecessors. Thanks to them, you'll be able to fight with extreme prowess. Uh-oh, 
Oh, this doesn't look good. Are, are they real monsters? Actual scary man-eating monsters? Be ready for your first trial, child. And don't worry. You'll never be alone. to achieve. Now, you need to search for the Fountain of Wisdom. By attuning to it, you'll recover your mental powers and be complete once again. Great! Oh, I'm so hyped up. There's truly hope for Earth. Wait for me, Mila. The Chosen One is coming to the rescue. fulfill your destiny how did you manage to bring me here and how can I no focus Avril one thing at a time fountain and Mila first questions about the fact that I became a savior that talks with gods on an alien planet later my language? tribe. I'm in your debt, Avril of the Human. Don't mention it. I know it may sound silly, but can you please tell me where I can find a fountain of wisdom? Not now. My village is under siege by the Destroyers. I tried to fight them, but... The Destroyers? You mean those creepy little monsters? Yes, they are our sworn enemy. Please help us. Without you, many of my friends will die. We could sense the fountain is near the alien village. Go now, champion. I'll do what I can. Lead the way. Follow me. The village is nearby. Keep your guard up. They might ambush us. Right. Hey, have you seen another human? She's a smarty pants who always looks angry. First, we need to save everyone. Then I'll ask my father. We already told you, Chosen One, she's safe. 
Just focus on your task for now. I truly hope so. Who are you talking to? Some superior being that lives inside my head. Okay. Sound right. of them. Whew, being a hero is rough. <laughs> what? One of them is fleeing. Leave him. He'll tell his wretched friends that they don't stand a chance against the Builder tribe. Thank you, warrior. You did a great service to my tribe. My name is Kahilas, warden of Halaya. She saved me and the village, Dad. Maybe thanks to her, we'll be able to... Don't talk about that in front of everyone, Sheila. It's too dangerous. Oh, okay. So how can we repay you for your kindness? I need to reach the Fountain of Wisdom. Can you show me where it is? Interesting. Care to tell me why? Well... Uh oh well... It's complicated. It all started with... I see. So you are the Keeper of Balance. Finally, someone will be able to fix the chaos that brought so much pain to our people. Wait, do you mean that Grisha had our same fate? I... I don't understand. What caused all of this destruction? Every planet in the galaxy suffered. But only Earth was almost destroyed. And don't worry, by mending the core, you'll be able to help them as well. And soon, we'll tell you everything about what happened that day. Patience, brave champion. Sheila, can you escort our warrior to the fountain? Sure, Dad. Come on, Avril of the Human, follow me. 
Thank you, Kahilas. Godspeed, warrior. Whoa, this village is so lively. Oh, here's the fountain. I just need to concentrate and... Right? Nicely done, my sweetest lamb. Now that you have awoken your mental powers, you're ready to fulfill your destiny. Am... am I dead? Don't you dare! First, you need to move your sorry butt and tell me what the hell is going on! Mima! Sun and Moon were right, you're alive! Yeah, barely. I'm hiding inside some sort of cave, but somehow I listen to everything. Um, this planet is literally made of caves, but I'll find you, I promise. Are you talking to yourself again? Oh no, I need to call an apothecary. Don't bother. Remember the superior beings in my head? Now I have a new annoying one. You brought me on this suicide mission, and you call me annoying? Oh, just wait until... I missed you so much, Mila. Uh, so what now? Do you want to come here or what? She's near the core of this planet, Chosen One. You'll need to find a way to get in there. Oh, right! The core! That's the whole reason we came down here in the first place. Lucky you, Mila. You're right where we wanted. Hooray! You want to reach the core? But that's impossible, friend. Izanik's powers... Izanik? He's someone you don't want to mess with. You won't stand a chance against him. Not yet. Please, I need to know. My friend is in danger, and I need to get there fast. In that case, you'll need to help us with another problem, with the destroyers inside the Valley of Lydia. Don't waste time with them, champion. Your mission to save Earth is our only priority. I would love to help you, but I don't have time. Sorry, but we can't do anything until we've got rid of those monsters in the valley. Eradicate them, and we'll do what we can to support your cause. Ugh, what a pain in the neck. Sorry, Mila. You'll have to wait a little bit longer. If I die here, my ghost will haunt you forever. No pressure. Thank you. Sheila, go with her and reach Gothra. She'll cover the details. Okay, show me the way.